Hi. I am going to read you a poem called Christmas in August. Christmas in August. Towns on the northern California coast are foggy in August, with shafts of startled sunlight sometimes in the afternoon. It's hard to say what season you're in, so in the market this morning, idling past the sacks of corn flour with my cart, a snatch of the lilt of Spanish came into my head. Maria C makes a hundred tamales every year for Christmas Eve and likes to talk when I see her in town on a cold December day about her schedule. The day she roasts the pork and boils the chicken, the day she spends simmering the mole, onions and garlic, of course, bay leaves and chiles, guajillo or chipotle for smokiness, and oregano. How much? You ask Maria, and she shrugs, un poquito. At, and at this season, sticks of cinnamon, a little ground pumpkin seed, cumin, some chocolate. Her sister likes green olives. You simmer it for hours while you knead the masa with pork fat from the roast and the seasoned water you boiled the chicken in. And then Christmas Eve, when the children help you fashion the tamales in their hojas. That was the phrase I remembered in the market, the one about the young girls and their manos rabidos. It made me think of Christmas in the Berkeley Hills and the old man's hands, a refugee professor from another generation. He would seem chagrined when I saw him in the market, as if we had been caught in some unmanly compromise when we should be home writing treatises on medieval Polish grammarians. But he loved preparing herring on Christmas Eve, and I can visualize his old hands, not so quick, slicing pieces of the fatty Baltic fish, assembling juniper berries, the vinegar and peppercorns and olive oil, bay leaves and cloves. There is I'm sure some Polish phrase for the right amount of mustard, meaning just enough. At our house, we peel chestnuts on Christmas Eve morning. My beloved in her apron, browning onions and celery for the stuffing. Her flowered apron, all business, as if she were commandeering the ship of the world, which in a way, on that day, she does. Outside, it was August. The planet just turning toward the dark. A long way, and not a long way, from the short, dark days we gather to celebrate the light surviving through.